In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a very precious time for you and for me before we go to bed to look into ourselves deep within with genuine self, with truthfulness, how I have spent my day with the Lord and with my brothers and sisters. Remain silent for some time. Go deep within yourself. Thank the Lord for the day that he had put at our disposal. Go into your conscience very truly and truthfully. Examine your whole activities of the day, your behavior with others, about your duties, being sincere, honest, or the contrary. If we have hurt one another on this day, if we have gossiped and ruined someone's name and life, before we go to bed, let us forgive those people whom we have hurt, injured, hated. Remember those moments that you have used bad words. Forgive the other before you go to bed. This is the time we should ask the Lord's forgiveness. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers, my sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what have I done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, my sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now that the daylight dies away, by all thy grace and love, the maker of the world, we pray, to watch our bed above. Let dreams depart and phantoms fly, the offspring of the night, Keep us like shrines beneath thine eyes, pure in our foes despite. This grace on thy redeemed confer, Father co-equal Son, and Holy Ghost, the Comforter, eternal three in one. Psalm 88 The Antiphon Lord my God, I call for help by day, I cry at night before you. Lord my God, I call for help by day. I cry at night before you. 
Let my prayer come into your presence, O turn your ear to my cry. For my soul is filled with evils, my life is on the brink of the grave, I am reckoned as one in the tomb, I have reached the end of my strength. Like one alone among the dead, like the slain lying in their graves, like those you remember no more, cut off as they are from your hand. You have laid me in the depths of the tomb, in places that are dark in the depths. Your anger weighs down upon me. I am drowned beneath your waves. You have taken away my friends and made me hateful in their sight. Imprisoned, I cannot escape. My eyes are sunken with grief. I call to you, Lord, all the day long. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work your wonders for the dead? Will the shades stand and praise you? Will your love be told in the grave, or your faithfulness among the dead? Will your wonders be known in the dark, or your justice in the land of oblivion? As for me, Lord, I call to you for help. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Lord, why do you reject me? Why do you hide your face? Wretched, close to death from my youth, I have borne your trials, I am numb. Your fury has swept down upon me. Your terrors have utterly destroyed me. They surround me all the day like a flood. They assail me all together. Friend and neighbor you have taken away. My one companion is darkness. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Antiphon Lord my God, I call for help by day, I cry at night before you. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Lord Jesus, Redeemer of all and author of our salvation, for us, you went down to the realm of death and became free of death. Hear the prayers of your family and lift us from our slavery to evil, that we may be redeemed by you and see your Father's glory. Short reading. Jeremiah chapter 14 Verse 9 Thou, O Lord, art in the midst of us, and we are called by thy name. Leave us not. Short Responsory Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. The Canticle, Nuke Demetis. Christ is the light of the nations, and the glory of Israel. Antiphon, save us, Lord. While we are awake, protect us while we sleep, that we may keep watch with Christ and rest with him in peace. At last, all-powerful Master, you give leave to your servant to go in peace according to your promise. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all nations, the light to enlighten the Gentiles 
and give glory to Israel, your people. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Antiphon, save us, Lord, while we are awake, protect us while we sleep, that we may keep watch with Christ, and rest with him in peace. Let us pray. Give us grace, Almighty God, so to unite ourselves in faith with your only Son, who underwent death and lay buried in the tomb, that we may rise again in newness of life with him, who lives and reigns forever and ever, the Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Let us say the Hail Holy Queen together. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this well of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after this exile, show us the blessed fruit of your own Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. My dear friends, Wishing you a very pleasant night. May we all rise in order to see the new day. Amen.